Hi ladies and welcome to another Tsunami Rose design team project. Um, I use a couple of different collections for my um, junk journal and so I'm going to quickly go through them. You will also, um, there will also be a link to all of the um, paper collections and ephemera packs that I used in this um, junk journal. So the first one here, this that you see here, the paper, um, this is the Christmas list um, paper collection. And I mixed quite a bit. So I used the Christmas list. I also used Rose Azure and I used a ephemera pack. And I want to say the ephemera pack I used was um, set two. Um, but once again, that will all be linked in the description box below. And so what I did here is these are just some flowers I had in my stash. They're paper flowers. Um, I made them and then I thought they went well with the um, paper that is in the shop. Um, and see, I just love how these papers go together. These, this Christmas list paper. And I love like the mint color right here. And so what I did was I added a photo frame. I had this in my stash. Um, no idea what I was going to use it on. Um, but I made this and I knew that this was exactly where it needed to be. Um, so I added the little frame. I added some twine underneath and some lace. And how I did my binding, is, it's probably a little bit different than how most of y'all probably bind your junk journals. Um, what I did is... So I have my pages on the inside and I, these here are laced together like how you would normally lace a junk journal. Um, but instead of, I guess, lacing it through the cover, I have lace or trim here that ties it into my, um, that ties it in. I like to do this just because I like to go back and I can easily add stuff in if I would like to. You can you can take pages out, you can add pages in. Um, and with Tsunami Rose, I tend to like a very chunky junk journal. So this can be used as a December daily and you can easily add something in if you would like. Um, trinkets or you know whatever tickets um, or whatever you uh, would like to use it for. But so that's how I have it. It's not binded through my chipboard. It is tied on through this lace right here. I'm sorry if this video is is a little off. I'm out visiting family, so I'm not in my craft shed. So I'm having to hold my phone, which I'm not really used to. So here we are. I'm going to do the first um, pamphlet stitch I have right here. And this here is just a um, some paper I had in my stash. And I used it to make a little pocket. And inside is some tuck spaces that you can have. Um, or it's something ephemera. Here is an envelope. A card. And then this is a Christmas list. And then here is it's a little tag. And I just stapled some ephemera onto it another and I will just say because you're gonna realize I actually put in one of these pamphlets upside down and instead of stressing over it and tearing it out I just let it be so yes this is this one here will be upside down but that's okay I have a little tag right here I added some lace. It's a little tuck spot, so you can add um, you can add something in if you would like, just to have like a little picture. And then here, and then here are just some um, tags I have with some lace. And that just tucks in there. A little journaling spots. <laughs> Here is another little tuck spot with some ephemera. 
And here, I'm sorry if, if, if that's shaky, is this here is a ephemera piece and I just glued it onto a tag and added a, a cute little bow that I had in my stash. Oopsies. And then here, this is just another little tuck spot. This here is a tuck spot, also it's a little pocket and it has um, some ephemera pieces along with um, a tag. Some lace. And this is just um, another one of the ephemera pieces. This is from the Rose Azure. And I just glued it on and then I put this on foam tape just to give it a little bit of dimension. <clears throat> More of the pattern paper from the shop Christmas list. This is um, from Rose Azure also. And I just use it as a little pocket. Tuck spot here. And here's another pocket with some tags and some more um, ephemera pieces. And this is a, it's just a little tuck. And just embellish a tag. And then here, this here is a pocket. Um, and I just have a wand that I made and a little candy cane that I got at the Dollar Tree. And there is um, an ephemera piece tucked in. So more tuck spaces here. And then this here, if you would like, you can glue the edges and make it another little um, Make it another little um, pocket. And that is the first uh, pamphlet. So here is the second pamphlet. This one is not upside down. Um, but look, this paper is just beautiful. Daisy does a really amazing job at creating these digital papers. And here is a tag. Um, you can glue it down and make it a tuck spot. I like to have these, I just like these as little like embellishment pieces that I add um, some of the ephemera pack onto. Um, but this is a rosette using <clears throat> crepe paper. Uses some embellishment. And so these pages here are more so for adding pictures if you would like. Um, here's another little tuck spot for um, an envelope that I have. You can add stuff in. Um, journaling spots here. Here, these here are actual pockets. You can add stuff in. This is a pocket also, and it has some has a little folder in here that holds some extra ephemera pieces. Just move that to the side. Another one of my great paper rosettas flowers um here like i said it's another um tuck spot pocket using some journaling cards um from the rose resort extra paper i had in my stash um this is just for like adding pictures or drawing spots a little tuck spot here um here's a tag and i just have this right there more tags and tuck spots here and another a piece of tag and extra places to add pictures. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. And I'm sorry if my video is really shaky. Um, well, maybe when I get back into town, I'll redo another um, video of this where it's not so shaky. And I, my camera setup is actually meant for this. But um, thank you so much and I hope to see you again.